Hi, my name is Mark Patterson, and I'm with GoMeasure 3D. And today we're going to be looking at the uh, new R3X macro scanner. Um, as you can see, it has two 35 millimeter cameras with uh, 2.8 me uh, megapixel camera bodies mounted on this much smaller frame with a smaller projector as well. Um, and today our part that we're going to be scanning is this turbine blade. Um, so I've already got everything set up and calibrated. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and start the process. So as always, the projector is going to be uh, projecting a pattern of 2D vertical lines onto the part. Now this pattern is called a fringe pattern. And um, what's going to happen is the two onboard cameras that we have are going to be taking a series of pictures um, which will comprise one scan and each scan is roughly uh, between 2.2 and 2.6 million data points. Um, now once this is done uh, we'll see the model come up but I'm going to talk about the rotary stage. Uh, so right now I'm using our rotary stage in FlexScan which is just absolutely amazing. It really streamlines the process for any type of scanning. Um, easy to set up, takes a couple seconds to calibrate. So what it's doing is it's rotating it so many degrees based upon the number of scans I chose. Um, and you can choose between 2, 4, 6, 8, all the way up to 32 or 36. Um, but the nice thing about the rotary stage is that once the scanning is done, because I've done a calibration with the rotary stage, it's going to auto-align all the individual scans that I took um, and auto combine them. So that really takes a lot of the work out of the process. You know, a 30 minute scan uh, without a rotary stage turns into, you know, a two to three minute scan with the rotary stage. So it saves us a lot of time, a lot of headache. Um, in general, it's just a really great tool that we have and we use here in our office. Um, so once it's all done doing the processing, uh, as you can see right now, it's trying to align them and then it's going to do a two-step com combination process. Uh, so once that's done, we're going to take a look at the data and see how well this uh, macro scanner took scans of this uh, small turbine blade. Um, so we're just going to give that a second to kind of catch up with us. Okay. So now that we're done uh, taking scans, let's take a look at the model. Uh, as you can see, it has properly aligned each individual scan that I've taken. Um, and even got some of the little clay that I was using to hold up my, my turbine blade. So let's kind of zoom in and take a look here. You can see uh, some of the paint bubbles where we actually spray painted this turbine blade and it picked them up really well. Um, and it even got the sides uh, fairly good as well. So, you know, this is really good data uh, for a macro scan compared to using the R3X um, because our resolution is much better, um, you know, for the parts. So we get all the, all the nitty gritty details of our, uh, of our object. So, you know, this is really good for objects that are, you know, between um, an inch and uh, about two inches uh, tall um, or wide. So, you know, those are, those are what fits in the viewing window uh, in the scanning volume. Uh, and the smallest that, you know, you could probably go down to with something like this would be uh, something maybe between a quarter of an inch and a half an inch is really um, the limitations. So, you know, it's it's something that's um, definitely new and we're really happy that it's out. So if you'd like to know more about this uh, and see the completed model, um, please go to our website at www.gomeasure3d.com and uh, contact us and we'll, be in, we'll get back to you shortly. Uh, thank you.